Adders have a bit of a bad reputation in our country, but unfortunately it turns out they're not doing very well. So perhaps it's time for us to put our differences aside and help them. And in spirit of that today, I've come to this heathland and hopefully I'm going to try find some. Hey, the nose is sticking out. Adders, of course, are Britain's only venomous snake, but this doesn't mean we have to be scared of them. Their venom is actually extremely mild and probably isn't going to do much to you as long as you get medical attention. There was even this story when I was growing up, and I don't know how true this is, so take it with a pinch of salt. But it was about a woman who was gardening and she got bitten by an adder and she didn't realise, for whatever reason, maybe she thought it was a grass snake or maybe she just assumed it wasn't venomous and she left it for a few days until it started to bruise and swell up and that's when she decided to go get it checked out and that's when they told her she'd been bitten by an adder so it just goes to show that you're most likely going to be okay of course don't be like this woman and make sure you get medical attention right away if you do get bitten by one of these guys the real worry is dogs you see, dogs are a lot more susceptible to adder venom than we are because they're much smaller than us. So dogs often go off the track and spook an adder and might accidentally get bit. But even this has been a bit exaggerated. There aren't that many dog deaths by adder bites anymore because of medical attention. As long as you seek medical attention to the nearest vets as soon as possible, you're most likely going to be okay. Adders can most commonly be found in heathland and grassland. And one of the main reasons for this is because their food source is quite common here as well. Rodents like mice and shrews. But something that can also be found here is ferns. And I think this might have a correlation with the signature zigzag pattern that you can find on an adder's back. You see, when a fern dies, it tends to go a kind of brown or white color. And it looks very similar to an adder's back. I've even had to double take a few times when I've seen a dead fern because I thought it was an adder. It's a bit annoying, really. So I'm just coming up to where I put my reptile sheets the other day and I've put them in a place where I know there are adders so hopefully we might see something and the way they work is because snakes are ectothermic and require heat from their surroundings the sun warms up the mats and then the snake has a nice warm place to lay in the early mornings so high hopes okay so I have a reptile mat just out in this tall grass here. And it's still quite early in the morning, so there could be something. And I know there are adders here, because I've seen a couple here before. Well, there's no adder, but we have got a common lizard. So I've checked a few of my reptile sheets now and I haven't had any luck but I have still got a few more left so all hope isn't lost just yet. There's an adder right down here. It's a female. Adders are sexually dimorphic so you can see that this one is a female because it has the brown and black zigzag whereas the males are white and black it's amazing okay so unfortunately it did just see me and it has slivered away but it's amazing so beautiful i'm gonna keep looking okay this is absolutely incredible right in front of me is something that i've always wanted to see out in the wild it's a little juvenile snake curled up that's amazing i can't believe that it's not even like on one of my sheets it's just there it was right there i haven't spooked them off yet i'm not that close i'm having to zoom in quite a lot it's amazing unfortunately adders have a lot of threats in this country that have been bringing their numbers down quite significantly and we've been seeing less and less of them every single year, which is really quite worrying. And one of these threats in particular that we're really worried about is pheasants. 
You see, pheasants aren't naturally found in this country, but they are used for game shooting. And the ones that don't get shot, the ones that get away, naturally find their way out into the wild. And pheasants have this amazing ability to be able to kill venomous snakes without getting bitten by standing on their head. One of their other threats, of course, is habitat loss, which is a real shame. And as we've built more and more in this country, they've been losing more and more land. So it's really important that we keep these places like these nature reserves where they can stay and live here out of our way.